Diana Dymark here and rah 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 it is uh, Thursday morning it's also my bestie Vibeke's birthday today so to look at to look at hip 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 hurrah to Vibeke um, and also we are on to day 11 of our 40 day habit challenge now I've, I've got uh, I've been I was out filming yesterday so, so I'm going to run a little film uh, once I've um, just checked in with you about our challenge so I, I hope you're ready to go out for a wee bike ride um, 40 day habit challenge on to day 11. Some of you are using it for uh, the declutter thing, you know, that just looking for one item a day and being consistent with that, you know, because all too often we take these challenges and we, we make it something big and after three or four days the oomph goes out of us and, and we don't, we're, we're not consistent with it. So all we're doing is we're looking for one item that we can declutter, not one bag, not one box, one item if you find more that's great but the next day you have to do one again so we're being consistent for the 40 days and everybody can find one thing uh, even if you're like me you know i've been doing fly lady for years and i've you know my house is basically decluttered i can always find something uh, I, yesterday i was telling you about dvds uh, cds and i've got a couple more of those um a couple more going out um the door and also an, another couple that I found that I haven't um, played for ages. I'm going to put these in the car. I love it. It's the, the presets. I don't know if you know the presets. Love the presets. So those are going to go into the car. Uh, and otherwise, uh, I'm continuing with my challenge, which is daily exercise, which is the little film that you're going to see coming up. We're going on a bike ride. Um, perhaps you're working on routines, you know, really nailing down your morning routine, your evening routine. Uh, I, I love my routines, you know, I, I, you know, I put out my outfit the day before, right down to jewellery. I've actually got two uh, outfits planned for today because tonight I'm going out with the ladies from uh, my International Ladies Club. We're going out for uh, Lebanese, uh, to a Lebanese restaurant and it's a uh, vegan vegetarian. Uh, and we, we've got the whole restaurant to ourselves, we're over 30 ladies. So I, I just, it's really fun uh, being with ladies, but you know, the noise goes when, when we're all together and all ah, chatty chatty. So I'm looking forward to that. And I know that when I come home, I'm going to have to be, you know, in, in a dark room and completely quiet. Um, and what else for today? Oh, yesterday was Anti-Procrastination Day. Hope you got on with your task. I did mine. Here we are. Here's a proof. I was talking about uh, a top from a clothes swap party. It was slightly too big. I, I just took it in and made a little... Um, I just folded it over uh, here to make the neckline slightly smaller. And I did it by hand and I eyeballed it. Is it the, the best seamstress job in the world? No, but I got it done and it's done and I can wear it now. So you'll, you'll be seeing me wearing that again soon. And um, Thursday... Today uh, in, in Fly Lady Land is errand day. I've shifted my errand day to another day, but if you're out on your errand day, especially for those of you who are in Denmark uh, or maybe in, in Germany, we have carnival. Oh, here comes sun again. The sun's coming up behind the building. Uh, we have carnival coming up this weekend in Denmark. I, I showed you some of the carnival buns recently, and last year I shared with you a video about how we celebrate carnival in Denmark. It's a huge thing for kids. And I showed you how you could make one of these. This, this is one that I bought from the supermarket the other day, just to show you. Um, it's, it's branches with sweets attached and uh, little decorations. You can make a much better one yourself. The kids can make it for themselves, or you can make one for them. I showed you how to do this in a video last year. So if you click up there, uh, I shall link to the video. Hold on, I need to put down the blinds a bit. There we are. Um, I, I, will I will link to the video and also in the video information so you can see how to make one for yourself. Uh, and I think that's it uh, for today. So I'm, I'm going to run the video, uh, get bundled up because we, we were uh, below freezing last night, so it's a wee bit frosty, but we're going out on a bike ride. So um, anyway, I shall see you on the other side. As I always say, let's run the video. Diane and Denmark here. I have got something a bit different for you today. Uh, you know I'm doing this habit challenge of getting in my daily exercise and you know I love to get out on my bike, get around Copenhagen. Today's no exception but we're doing something a wee bit different and you know I love to take you with me and show you my favourite spots uh, here in Denmark. 
So today you are joining me on a wee bike ride and we're going on that. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but there is a, a beautiful bridge called the Snake Slangen. It's only for uh, bikes. So uh, I've brought my GoPro. I'm going to try filming with my GoPro today. Uh, and I hope you will join for me. I hope you enjoy the ride. So get bundled up. It's a wee bit nippy today, but the sun is shining. Uh, and make sure you get your cycle helmet on. Safety first. And uh, I hope you're not kind of scared of heights or anything like that because we'll be going a wee bit high up. Anyway, uh, let's get on our push bikes and let's get going. Okay, see you on the other side. Right, cycle helmets on. I hope you are all bundled up. Perhaps got your gloves on. It was uh, pretty nippy yesterday morning, but beautiful sunshine. So we are about to go on the bridge. Now remember, this is only for bikes. Do not attempt to walk over this when you're here visiting Copenhagen. It's only for bikes. And you can see we're high above the ground, so don't look down if you don't like heights. You can see everybody below. And I'm trying to cycle as slow, slowly as I can so that you can get uh, some nice views. On the left are the harbour baths, or one of the harbour baths. We've got several of them. These are areas which are cordoned off where you can swim in the summer. And we have beautifully clean water here. Right, we're just coming down. Here we are. We're, we, and remember, you cycle on the right here in Denmark. Cycle and drive on the right. And we're coming to the end of this part of Slangen. And we are about to go onto another bridge. Now, this one is both for bikes and for pedestrians. But again, we keep to the right. And this is actually my first time using my GoPro stuck on top of my cycle helmet. I don't know if. if if you're the same, but I was a bit kind of nervous about using, but I thought yesterday as it was anti-procrastination uh, day, I would do it. Uh, perhaps you've got an instant pot that you've bought, you've never had out of the box and you never tried, you know, just, just, just go for it. So not, not fantastic filming, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful the um, sun looks on the water. And remember when you're cycling, you need to always give your um, hand signals. So we're just about to come over the other side of the bridge and I'm going to uh, hand signal left because I want to show you something down to the left here. So look, look twice and then there we are. And if you've ever been, <coughs> excuse me, if you've ever been to Copenhagen, you will know that we have lots of cobblestones. You don't want to be wearing high heels here, no stiletto heels. Uh, and I'm trying to cycle on the flat tracks because you'll see as soon as I come off the flat tracks boom 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 uh, the, the, the filming goes a bit bumpy but ahead of us you can see um, Copenhagen bus stop now this isn't a regular bus stop uh, the, the bus stops here is a column usually with a yellow at the top and I'll tell you which bus is stop here this is actually for the harbour bus and it was great timing yesterday there was a harbour bus just coming in you can maybe hear it uh, tooting its little horn and the harbour bus is a great way to see Copenhagen if you are a tourist. Uh, I mean, we, we use them to get around town. But uh, it's just the, a, a normal um, bus ticket that you use, or if you have a Reise Court, which is a travel card. Oh, there's a wee, a wee boy who was desperate to get on the bus, shouting for his granny and, gran, uh, granny and granddad to hurry up. Uh, and you can take your bike on the harbour bus. Uh, or your pram, your stroll, your, your double stroller. Uh, as I've mentioned here before, we have fantastic public transport here, um, very reasonably priced. And you can take, uh, as I said, your, your pram on the bus. Here you'll see lots of prams on Danish buses. So here we are, the, um, the bus, the harbour bus has come in and it's just putting down the ramp. And then everybody can pile on board. Uh, and if I remember rightly, there are two routes uh, around here in Copenhagen Harbour. Uh, one of them will take you up to Newhoun, which is um, where a lot of the canal trips start from. And I love seeing um, cities by, um, you know, by the water, uh, if at all possible. I'm, just, I'm a bit like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. I'm fascinated by uh, buses and uh, trams and boats. Anyway, you can see it's a gorgeous day here, somebody's sitting down, uh, further down the quay, having a sandwich. And there was also somebody here who was just parking his bike and running for the bus, but the transport staff were very nice here, so they waited for him. There we are, last man on board. 
and then they'll get ramp the ramp up and um, reverse out. I'm just going to walk in for a, a better view. You can see it there. And when you go on the uh, harbour bus at the back, they actually have an, an area where you can sit outside if it's nice. So as I said, it's a fantastic way to see uh, Copenhagen from the water. Cheap, very cheap way to see it. There we are, it's just moving out now. And one of the other things that I like to do when I'm in town, if I see one of the canal boats uh, going past or the, uh, the harbour bus, you, you've always got to give them a wave, haven't you? So let's give them a wee wave. See you later. Right, and I'm going to get back on my bike because I want to show you the trip in reverse. So back on with your bike helmet. Let's get back on the flat tracks. Okay, I'm going to... Hand signal right here. Remember, keep to the right when you're in Denmark, always keep to the right. We drive on the right, we cycle on the right. If you're walking down the uh, escalators and shops, keep to the right. And just look at that gorgeous weather we had yesterday, the month of February. And as I've said before, usually in February we are under snow, but uh, not this year. Still pretty cold, but who cares with that gorgeous sunshine? Okay, and I'm trying to cycle as slowly as possible so that you can get some good views here. And occasionally, there we are, you'll, you'll see my bike basket and you'll also notice that I've got a huge pink flower attached to the handlebars of my bike. That's because everybody in Denmark has a bike. So when you go to uh, the stores, Anywhere you go, um, you know, there are thousands of bikes parked. So I have a big pink flower on, on my front of my handlebars, <coughs> excuse me, so that I can uh, easily locate my bike. Okay, we're back up on the Snake Slangen. Remember, this is only for bikes, this, this bridge, so, so do not attempt to walk over this one. There's the harbour baths on the right if you want to go for a swim. Uh, and also you're not allowed to jump in from here, so, so don't go diving into the water from here. Uh, also that you'll probably see in the summer lots of kayaks, uh, paddle boards, everybody's out on the water. Uh, and you can easily hire a bike when you're uh, visiting Copenhagen. Uh, you can uh, download an app and, and we have an app system or you, know, you can do it with a credit card. You can just pick them up uh, anywhere on the street. Right, we are heading up, up, up. And at the end of Slangen, uh, there is a huge shopping mall called uh, Fisketorvel. And we're about 10 minutes from Copenhagen Central Station. That's where we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little bike ride. And even if you can't get on your bike today, maybe you can just get outside and have a quick walk around the block for five minutes. Just get out there and get some fresh air. You never know what you're gonna find. Right, and I'm going to leave you with my usual sign off. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope you got on well with day 11 of our 40 day habit challenge and I shall see you tomorrow. All I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish sugar be with you. Happy birthday again to Bibika and uh, I shall see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.